It's time to talk about acids. And I know you all know about acids. You've all heard of them. You've got stomach acid, you've got acid and lemons. You've got all types of different acids. But I want to have a go at trying to describe what they are and how they work. So for this experiment, what you're going to need is some red cabbage, some water, hot or cold, preferably a bit warm or hot. You're going to need a knife or a blender, some ice cube trays, some household ingredients, a sieve, a jug, six clear glasses, and also a pair of gloves. If we want to check for an acid, we can use a thing called an indicator. Now what an indicator does, it changes in the presence of an acid. Now, the more acidic something is, the more the indicator changes. Now, this red cabbage actually contains a natural indicator, and it's actually got to do with the purple colour it has. So, what we're going to do is, to get to this purple colour, we're going to break it up, chop it up, stick it in a blender, and add water to it. And all of the purple colour is going to go into the water, and that's going to become our indicator. So let me chop up some of this cabbage quickly now. Remember, if you're using knives at home, be careful. You're probably old enough to be using knives and I don't need to tell you that, but if you ain't, be careful. And if you are old enough, be careful. Right, I think that's about enough. Get your cabbage and stick it in there. So now I'm just gonna blend it together. I'm gonna use a bit of warm water because it helps. It speeds up the rate at which stuff comes out of it. I'm gonna strain the solution into here. Everything's made of cells. All forms of life is made of cells, and so is this cabbage. Now, within the center of these cells, the plant cells, they've got room for different stuff to kind of occupy. And some of that stuff is called anthocyanin. Now, anthocyanin is actually like a chemical. It's a chemical in the cabbage that makes it red, deep red or sometimes purple. So what we've just done is, by blending this all up, is release some of that anthocyanin into the water. Because it easily dissolves in water, as you can see, it easily forms this solution. So, here's the indicator. It will change colour in the presence of different acids. Acids occur everywhere. Now, not everything's an acid. There is an opposite of an acid. It's actually called an alkali when it's in a solution, or it's called a base. Now, when we take these things, they can be either more acid, or they can be more basic. If they're exactly balanced in between, we say they're neutral. So I've got some ingredients from around the house that you can get here. And what we're going to do is, we're going to stick them in, and we're going to try and check with the indicator whether they're acidic or whether they're alkaline. And remember, it will change colour based on how acid it is. Now, you might have noticed by some of these, you can probably tell that that's vinegar. That is a hardcore drain cleaner. This is like window cleaner. This is like an all-purpose cleaner. Well, this bicarbonate of soda. That fizzes and bubbles. We're going to leave one empty, and that's just going to be the control. And that's going to be what we get if we just add water. Water has a pH of 7. A pH of 1 means that it's really acidic, whereas a pH of 14 means it's really basic. And in between the two, in the middle, is neutral. So water is neutral. OK, let's try this out. This is vinegar. And let's pour it in. Right. So what happens when we add an indicator to vinegar? Here we go. Mad type of pink colour. We know vinegar is pretty acidic, so we can say that pink is the colour of something that is more acidic than water, than neutral. Now let's try out this stuff. This is drain cleaner, it was pretty thick and gloopy. Wow. Started off one colour and it's got about two or three different colours. Well, let's try that again. Green, orange, reddish, Ooh, and finally a cup of yellow. And I can say to you that actually this stuff is actually more alkaline. It's got a thing in it called sodium hydroxide. Hydroxide being the important word to remember. Hydroxide just basically means it's got hydrogen and it's got oxygen. Hydroxide. Now when you take those things, if you've got a lot of hydroxides in something, it tends to make things more alkaline. This is window cleaner. Will this be acid or will it be alkaline? What do you use to clean your windows? Something more like a lemon or something like something else? Let's check. Well, look at that. It was a blue substance, but we can see that it's pretty much purple. Actually, it's a bit lighter than that. I'd say it was in between those two. So let's quickly just move them in the pile. Now we've got this stuff. All-purpose bleach. It's kind of green and it's really dark and it's orange. I ain't that cool. So if you put in enough of that, get this lovely green colour. Last but not least, we have 
bicarbonate of soda. A bicarbonate of soda, it might be an acid, it might be an alkali. Let's check it out. What colour will this go? Yes, and we have a lovely blue colour. Red cabbage really is an indicator. It gives you different colours depending on what you've put it in. If you thought that wasn't impressive enough, I've just got one last thing to finish off. Because it is all about acids and how they react to an indicator. So, let's see what I can do when I put the indicator into some spray. Everybody ready? Well, it was close. So that's another live experiment. You know it was live, but at the end of the day, don't forget to subscribe. Done though.